obviously people want to back us, everybody wants to get this money back. We want to be able to do as much as we can in the future. We want all these research, this development to keep on taking place. We need this money back. Those working in business and industry aren't the only ones looking to Gordon Brown for support. Charity campaigners from the Christie have also turned up today in the hope of getting the Prime Minister to throw his weight behind their petition to try and get the Financial Services Compensation Scheme to change its mind about its decision not to replace the £6.5 million of charity money lost by Christie's in the collapse of the Icelandic bank. We really want to bring to the attention of Gordon Brown and the rest of the government that this is really important. It's patients' numbers and um, you know it's their money and we want as many signatures as possible on this petition so that we have a really good case for support. The campaign in support of the Christie was launched by the Manchester Evening News earlier this week. In just a couple of days, the petitions already attracted around a thousand signatures and several high-profile supporters. But having the backing of the Prime Minister certainly wouldn't hurt the cause. The, the issue is uh, what he will do about it, if anything, and I think it's a matter of keeping the pressure on. They've raised the profile of this, and now it's a matter of keeping on and getting people like Gordon Brown and other influential people as well to keep pushing the message. As the Christie's champions waited outside in the hope of speaking with Gordon Brown, inside, the Prime Minister addressed his audience. And I'm very pleased to be in this uh, region itself, uh, to be in Manchester, where you are one of the great exporting uh, regions of our country, one of the great centres of manufacturing in Europe. Almost all of the campaigners eventually headed inside when, to their surprise and against their odds, they won their audience with Mr Brown. Came here today just hoping that we might be able to catch Gordon Brown as he was passed in a car, um, but we were actually invited in to meet him and he's given us the assurance now that he's going to look into the case to, to find out all the, you know, the, the, sort of the nitty-gritty behind the judicial review. So it's just great to have been given the opportunity to be able to actually really flag it up in front of him. Whilst Gordon Brown offered his sympathies to Christie's, his name remains off the list of those pledging their official support. Campaigners are hoping to gather over a million signatures on the petition. If you'd like to add your name, get in touch at the website below. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.